use calculus to determine the coordinates of the turning points of the curve defined by the equation y is equal to 1 third x cubed minus x squared minus 24x plus 15. So the first thing that we need to find is dy by dx because we want to find the turning point. Okay, turning point is where uh, at turning point maximum or minimum you should know as students of calculus that dy by dx is equal to zero. Okay, so let me find, let me write the equation y is equal to one third x cubed minus x squared minus 24x plus 15. So this is your function and we are interested in the turning point and also to decide whether it's maximum or minimum. Okay, so let's find dy by dx. So dy by dx is simply drop the power down and decrease the power by one. So one third is a coefficient, so you write one third times, drop the power down, so that is three x squared minus x squared differentiates to minus two x and this differentiates to minus 24 and this differentiates to zero. Okay, now we can say for turning point, for TP, I'll write TP for turning point, dy by dx is equal to zero. Okay, this implies, so what can we do? Yeah, can we understand this and this gets canceled? One third times three gets canceled. So we have got, this implies x squared minus two x minus 24 is equal to zero. Now this is a simple quadratic equation. So this implies setting them, putting them in two brackets. So this is x minus six times x plus four is equal to zero. This implies if you set each of them equal to zero, we can say when x is equal to six or when x is equal to negative four, this is equal to zero. Okay, so the interesting points are x is equal to x is equal to negative four and x is equal to six. So we need to find the y value. So you can put this back in this equation and find the y value. Okay, so I'm, but I'm using the graphic calculator uh, to find the y coordinate. So I'll get my calculators out and uh, type in, go to table menu, go to table menu and type in the equation, which is x cubed divided by three uh, minus x squared minus 24x plus 15. Okay, I'm interested at minus four and plus six. So I'll set from minus four to six. Okay, step of one. So at minus four, it is 77 and two thirds. Okay, and so let me write that. So 77 and 73 and two thirds. So your Y is 70, 73 and two thirds. Okay, and y, when x is equal to 6, let me scroll down when x is equal to 6. x is equal to 6, when x is equal to 6, your y is uh, minus 93. Okay, uh, okay, so let's write that. So these are the coordinates. So this is plus 93, am I right? Minus 93, sorry. So this is minus 93. And we want to decide what is maximum or minimum. Okay, so let me go over maximum or minimum. Now, if you have a maximum, suppose this is a curl, and say this is your maximum. Okay, at maximum, your if you draw a tangent, the dy by dx is equal to zero. At maximum, the dy by dx is equal to zero. If you take anywhere to the left of maximum, the dy by dx would be less than, oh, sorry, greater than zero. This would be positive. And if you take to this side, if you draw a tangent, the dy by dx is negative, so it's less than zero. But I don't know whether it's maximum or minimum. So if, suppose, you have a minimum, so let me use a different color for minimum. Suppose this is, this is a curl, this is, this is umbrella shape, and this is bowl shaped. So at this point, this is again, this is a minimum. At minimum, again, dy by dx is equal to zero. 
to the left of minimum, you have a negative gradient. You can say dy by dx is less than zero. And to the right of maximum anywhere, your dy by dx is equal to is, is positive, so greater than zero. So we need to make up a table to decide what is maximum or minimum. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make up a table of x, y, and dy by dx. Okay, so the interesting point are, so let me draw a line here. So I'm going to make up, write some numbers here. This is how you decide using calculus whether a point is maximum or minimum. Okay, so let me write. The interesting point is when x is when x is negative 4. So when x is negative 4, so to the left of negative 4, you any value, any neat value is negative, negative 5. To the left is oops, to the left is negative 5, and to the right is negative 3. Okay, so let me use a different color. Okay. So to the left is minus 4, and to the right is minus 3. Now the other interesting point is uh, 6. Okay, to the this is 6, to the left is 5, and to the right is 7. Okay, so we know when x is negative 4, y is 73 and 73 and 2 thirds. So this is 73, 2 thirds. Your gradient is 0. At 6, your y value is minus 93, and your gradient is 0. So again, I'm going to use the table menu to find what is the uh, dy by dx. This is not important. This, is, this doesn't make any difference. So we are only interested in dy by dx. Okay. So now to find dy by dx, what I would do is I would go to my setup and turn the derivative on. Okay. And go to table. Okay. Okay, I had to go set, say I'll go from minus 5 to 7. Okay, minus 5 to 7. Okay, to the left, okay, I want you to look only at x. And this is not that important. Uh, this was 68 and 1 third. Okay, that doesn't matter. So look at x. When x is minus 4, oh, when x is minus 4, yeah, this was right. When x was minus 4, the gradient is 0. When it is minus 5, the gradient is positive. So I'm going to write only positive here. The gradient is positive when x is minus 5. Can you see when x is minus 5, your gradient is positive. When x is minus 3, the gradient is negative. Okay, so from positive, 0, negative. That means this point, this point has to be, this point has to be maximum will come from this graphically. Okay, and let us go to 6 here. Okay, scroll down to 5. At 5, when x is 5, your gradient is negative. Your gradient is negative. And when x is 7, when x is 6, when x is 6, the gradient is 0. When x is 7, the gradient is positive. Okay, so from a negative gradient, 0 to positive gradient, this means this has to be the minimum. Okay, let me sketch this graph so that you understand. So this is maximum and this is minimum. And as this is a cubic equation, so let me draw a rough sketch of what the graph should look like. So I'm not only, I'm only interested in the maximum and minimum. Okay, where is my pen? Yeah, okay. So the graph, you've got a maximum at minus 4. The graph would, should look somewhat like this. This is not drawn to scale. Okay, so what we are saying is you get the maximum when x is negative 4. When x is minus 4, this point is 77 and 2 thirds, 73 and 2 thirds. So this point is maximum, so this minus 4 minus 4, 73, 2 thirds. At, this is a y coordinate. This is not exactly drawn to, or it's not at all drawn to scale. So this is your maximum. And when x is 6, and this is 6, 
you have the minimum this is minus 93 okay minus 93 so 6 comma minus 93 is your minimum so now we know this know the scale so let us use the calculator go to graph and you already have the equation sitting there but you need to change the scale uh, change the scale and then you go to shift v window i'll go from minus say 7 to plus 7 step of 1 i want from minus 100 to plus 100 because that will include the maximum and minimum the step of scale of 10 and draw it okay uh, what did i do minus 7 this was too big okay oh i had put 1000 it should be 100 it should be 100 okay so this is your graph okay and you go g sol maximum can okay. you see at minus 4 73 two thirds of the maximum and g sol minimum at 6 minus 93 is your minimum